So you're looking to create a tile in a sprite or in a, any other application for that matter and you're just looking for some pixel art goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to Tets by Kai, I'm Kai and today we are back in a sprite once again. Um, today we're taking a look at making a tileable stone texture. Um, so first things first, I want to open up a new image. We're going to go new, uh, file new, and we're just going to go 32 by 32. That's pretty good. That is a, uh, a pretty standard pixel art resolution size. All right, so first things first, we're going to zoom on in here. I'm going to change um, my palette for this. Uh, first things we're going to do is we're going to go up here to view and go to tiled mode and hit in tiled both axes. So that's what we're going to click. Um, and I'm using a tablet for this, by the way, to make this a bit easier. So now when we draw, you should be able to see that we draw and it draws in a tile. So we can get down exactly what we need to get down. Um, so that it tiles in every direction possible. So that's pretty neat stuff. So we're going to grab a grayish texture here. I'm going to add some blue to this, some blue to this gray, something like that. We'll add that up there. Sure. Why not? Um, and we're going to start out drawing. We're just going to draw some, we're going to use the black. We're going to draw some circles. We're going to use pixel perfect mode too, by the way. Um, so we don't have those double edges. So we're just going to draw some circles, some abnormal looking circle. Oh, maybe not that abnormal. We're going to draw some abnormal looking circles, something like that. I'm going to fix that little edge right there because that's annoying me. Um, we get E to erase and we're just going to erase some of that right there. Oh, frame properties. B is brush, not P. All right. So we're going to just add in a couple more circles just around all the edges and connect them all up. Nothing too prominent. Something like that. Like that. All right, so now we have our texture base. Um, so we're gonna actually untile this now. So now we have all the tile down so we can see exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We hit none, it'll go down to the one actual tile size. And this is a bit difficult to see right now, so we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to uh, add in some blacks. We're just going to make this solid black in some of these areas. I want the cracks to show and shine through. So let's take a look at that real quick. We can go back to tiled mode, tiled in both, and we'll see what we need to fix. We need to fix this little piece right here because that looks weird. I figured, and we'll leave that little piece. Get rid of this. This is kind of like the refining process, um, which is uh, just like I said, adding the cracks in. And we'll, de we'll define this more later on. But uh, we're just adding a couple of cracks in right here because stone is never tight knit. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to go back to the regular tiled mode. And now we're going to start adding in our actual color. So we'll add in a, 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 darker, a darker color here. What we'll do is we'll change this to a different, like a different blue. And we'll try to make this a bit darker than the other color that we chose earlier. And we'll, we'll fill all of these circles in. I hit the G key to fill, by the way. Or you can go over here to Paint Bucket Tool and then just hit that and just uh, paint some of those in. So we chose a really dark color for this because we're going to be adding on to this. So I'm going to make this even darker and we're going to color in that uh, these these darker lines here. And we might even go more dark than this. We'll saturate that a little bit up. And we'll, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll make it as dark as that. And then we'll add on to it later. All right. Get all those cracks and crevices. Um, so now we're going to be adding in a bit of depth here. So we're going to take uh, this, this crack color. And we're going to make this a bit darker. Almost black, but not all the way. Um, and we're just going to paint a little bit. Maybe something like that. And we're just going to paint. A little bit and be even darker than that wow well, yeah something like that yeah just very ever so slightly different we're gonna make paint a little bit in these lines staying only in the lines not actually going on top of the rocks just yet um, and just paint a little bit of craziness within there and we're gonna lighten this up a little bit and we're also gonna turn that to a more a more purple ish color lighten it up a little bit and we're going to add in some some of the actual rock. We're going to turn pixel perfect off because that's annoying me for the time being. We're going to add in a bit of the base of the rock here. Because like I said, this darker color that we added in earlier for the rocks, that's going to be pretty much like the shadow, the darker spaces. So we're going to add in the 
actual color for the rock going almost out to the edges on a few of these. We're going to try and try and find if you look at some pictures of rocks, they're always kind of bubbly a little bit, um, especially, you know, stones They're They're kind of bubbly and they kind of have that that roundness to them. So we're going to try and recreate that. Now, if I turn this tiled mode on. We always want to get a look at what we're doing because, like I said, right here, this is that shouldn't be going all the way up to the top. So we're going to want to get a look at what we're doing here. Maybe we'll combine those a little bit. But uh, we, we want to make sure we're not making things look like it just it cuts off because that's not good. Because what we need to do now is we need to go in and we need to add some more shadows for this darker color. So once again, I to eye drop that color and we'll darken this a little bit and we'll make it a little more greenish uh, for the shadows and we'll go in and we'll just add in a couple little little uh, nooks and crannies there for these rocks just to get to make it look a bit more random instead of looking so uh, so streamlined and perfect and modern looking I suppose go in and add some of those we have a nice base, but it's looking a bit uh, too weird, and I don't think I like this this lighter color that we have here. So what we're going to do to fix that, this top lightest color that we just painted in earlier, we're going to go up to Replace Color, Edit, Replace Color, and we're going to replace that color with a different gray, because I don't like the way that looks. So we're going to desaturate. We're going to go once again, eye dropping that color we just created, the lightest color right here. And we're going to lighten that just a little bit so we can do the highlights. Um, and we'll do something like that. Just going around on a few of these different ones. We're not going to do highlights for every rock over here, though, because that'll be just a bit too much. So we'll try and hit some of the spots that we really want to accentuate as being round. And we'll leave the rest alone. So that looks pretty good. Um, and what I like to do, this, I think the shadows may just be a bit too... Too... Um, too much of the same so what I like to do is I like to go in and I like to add vines so what we'll do is we'll go and we'll pick like a nice green color something not too vibrant of course because that throws everything off we'll pick something that's kind of greeny blue maybe something greeny blue desaturate it looks pretty good and see what it looks like in there yep that looks pretty good for our base and we'll add in a couple of vines in the cracks and crevices so we'll add in like one there some there just a little bit all over the place because once again, rocks aren't perfect. They're actually the least perfect thing I can think of other than maybe dirt. I don't know. <laughs> but um, so we're going to add in a couple of these in the, the cracks and crevices. We'll zoom out occasionally to see if it looks too much the same. And we'll even add some on this rock right there, maybe. Maybe right there. Just trying to break it up a little bit. And like I said, this is going to be tiled, so you don't want anything to be like really noticeable like that circle we'll grab a little bit of a darker color and we'll shift this to the yellow we'll shift our hue to the yellow and we will uh darken it as well something like that and see what it looks like yeah and we'll we'll use this as the shading for the vine or the moss or whatever have you so going through and really i'm literally just doing random things to the to the vines there, just picking random pixels and just adding that color it looks pretty pretty good to me so if we go back down to the regular view of the tiled mode you can see that we have our texture here and now everything is looking tip top shape we could of course go back in and we could grab this color again this is a, this is kind of nitpicky at this point but we can go in and we can just add in like some some dithering um you know which i i always don't like doing i hardly ever do this this type of uh, this type of shading um, but that's pretty much it yeah i mean you can go through and add so much more detail um, which I might just do, but uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for our uh, to tech for our for our to texture for our tutorial on texture texturing a um, stone surface in a sprite. Um, I do love doing pixel art. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial. If you did, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to do more pixel art tutorials for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.